Yogita, there's nothing on your plate, so that's it for today. Time management is key. I can see from a distance that the plate is empty. I am really sorry, but that's how it's going to stay. I just went blank and I just just did one thing that was putting my tacos on that plate. I had my sauce ready. I had my chicken ready. I charcoaled it as well, but I could not plate it on my plate, and uh, I would not be able to serve my dish today. No salad, nothing. And I think I've learned a lesson today that time management is really important. I'll be in bottom three for sure, but I'll try to, you know, learn from this. It's the end of the 90 minutes, and I have been able to put what I finished cooking on the plate. In my mind, I think I've put. um all the different things that was required so um fingers crossed but at least i have finished the what i had thought the meat is cooked perfectly uh, i like the flavor of the sauce as well that i've done so i'm hoping i'm kind of confident that i'll be okay my garnishes are a miss right now maybe a plating too but i think the food tastes good so i'm happy so my plating has been done and i'm just concerned about my flavors a little bit of seasoning here and there i am hoping for good results but uh, still fingers crossed i'm absolutely unhappy with my plating because the thought that i had for my plating it didn't work in the end um, i'm hoping that the flavors are all there and that i'm not in the bottom 3 today um however if i am i'm sure that i will make it through the elimination challenge so here's hoping When it came time for tasting, I was very scared. Um, my plating was quite terrible, and it was very basic because I was very flustered myself in the last one minute of the challenge. Hectic. The importance of every second suddenly comes to life in competitions. Huh? But overall, a good day. Ladies, six. versatile indian cuisines were given to you now it's time to see who interpreted these six indian cuisines in the most innovative manner time for tasting nishtha can you please go get your dish please speak about this beautiful dish that we have here Uh, so I did pulao over masala stuffed brinjal and okra, red snapper with poha crusted, mint chutney, and uh, Bombay duck as a crisp. That's a lot of things on a plate. Well. Nishta, Maharashtrian food is actually one of my favorite things to eat ever. And bareilly wangi especially is the dish that I usually go for. And that's really nice. You've flavored it beautifully. Also, I like the fact that you used uh, the bombil crisp in order to elevate your dish. So well done with that. The bombil was definitely an eye-catching element that you've added. Uh but other than that, I think the mint chutney it has that zing it's got the spice and it's got that color on the plate and the brinjal which is stuffed it's a technique which is great plus the fact that you've done so many different elements and you've been able to execute all of them nishta um i've been living in mumbai for 5 years married to a maharashtrian so my standards of maharashtrian food are very high the bombil is a real high point of the dish things are cooked well The eggplant is melt in your mouth. The fish is cooked well. I would have liked the chutney to be like a thecha. Thecha is very Maharashtra, which is chilies that are roasted, just roughly coarsely crushed with some peanuts, seasoned, some raw salt, you know, crushed salt on top. Uh, that's that's rustic Maharashtra. Um I would have I would have wanted to taste a little more um tamarind peanut combination that maharashtra is so known for i would have wanted to smell the peanut oil in my egg plant okay yes sir thank you thank you akanksha please bring us your dish i'm 
so I have prepared a steamed fish and I have placed that on the bed of khichdi and uh, sauteed vegetables and then there are pickled uh, onions and then uh, it's a coconut chutney let's get to yeah. tasting Akanksha it's a really pretty looking dish i'm extremely excited by the use of that coconut shell i loved the vegetables i like your chutney a lot most of all i love the presentation the only thing i didn't quite understand on the plate is the rice the way that you've made the rice with the chana dal in it i i can't really place that with kerala food but overall it's a delicious dish well akanksha for me just seeing the fact that you've been able to cook rice you've been able to steam steam fish i did think it was a little dried out but when i had a bite i i thought it was well balanced lacks a little bit of seasoning and a little bit of spice which i would have liked but the vegetables on the side really complemented i know you've cooked it in ghee so you can get a nice flavor of ghee which i'm not so sure that i wanted to find in in kerala cuisine i wanted to find probably more coconut while the vision is great and and the techniques were great and you nailed it um i don't quite place it in either of the brackets of kerala food as i know it so while the taste is all there and it's really beautifully executed i don't know if it's really kerala i don't know if it's that hyper local Thank you. Thank you. You may take the piece. So and then they kind of liked my dish but then later on uh, they also said that uh, they are not able to relate Kerala from the uh, my uh, dish. <laughs>